The Labour Party achieved a big win in 2024 general election, getting 172 more seats than any other party in the House of Commons. So the new Prime Minister is Sir Keir Starmer. This is a strong victory, means the new government can easily pass laws. So the policies Labour talked about during the election will probably become official. So it's not a big surprise that the new government will introduce new rules, right? So in today's video, I'll discuss both bad and good news. In the first part of this video, I'll discuss what the new government's immigration policies are which are based on what the Labour Party promised during their campaign. I have to say that I don't have a good news for people who wants to migrate to the UK or people who are already in the UK and require visa sponsorship. So make sure to watch the video till the end as this will have an impact on you. In the second part of my video I'll also discuss the updated employment rules for workers and migrants. This is a good news because this will protect you as an employer. The new government confirmed that it would bring forward an employment rights bill from King's speech which was made on 17th of July which aims to ban industry where people were exploited like care industry and enhance employment rights to protect all of you. This employment rights bill will be introduced during the first 100 days of the new parliament in what the government is calling as the biggest upgrade to workers rights in a generation which is really good news for all of us. So if this topic is of any use to you make Make sure to watch the video till the end but before we start our today's video a quick introduction about myself my name is Arika and welcome to your knowledge buddy also I'm available on Instagram with the same ID your knowledge buddy where I share more quicker updates so make sure to connect with me today and say hello but I have good news for students who wants to study abroad if you want to study in any of these listed countries I can help you free of cost you have to just fill the form which is provided in my video description and pin comment and my team will reach out to you soon Remember, we are waiting for you. And for people who wants to connect with me for one-to-one -one sessions, you can book my meeting from the link shared below in the video description as well. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's video. I'll start first from immigration point of view as most of my audience would be interested in it and then followed by employment bill. But before I start discussing the details, I'm going to say it's going to be tougher now to get visa sponsorship job as the rules are being made more tough to cut down net migration. You guys may already know that from last year UK government is focusing on cutting down the net migration and looks like it will continue further and more drastic steps will be taken. So let me start with point one. The Labour Party wants to reduce the need for immigration by changing how apprenticeships are funded. In this program you can get a job related to training and also get paid. Now let's understand this with an example. Say you want to work in IT they will make you join apprenticeships program so that you work and learn the job in IT and also get paid paid but this is only for British people. This will improve the skills of local workers and hence they will give more funding to this program to help improve the UK economy. Their plan is to train British workers for jobs in areas with shortages. This way companies won't need to hire workers from other countries. These areas include construction which we already know, IT and engineering which are important for the UK economy and currently have many migrant workers right. Point number two, the government will reduce the sponsor license of companies companies that don't train their workers enough. They will also make it longer to get a sponsor license and add more visa penalties for employers who break UK employment laws. Now this is because in the past the companies had managed to find some loopholes and successfully hide people from abroad. So this will be stopped and they will ask employer to train their own staff or hire them locally. Point number three, they have stated that they will remove occupations from immigration salary list where the sector is not committing enough to upscaling its workforce, potentially making it more expensive to employ migrant workers. Now, just a reminder to you guys, this year immigration salary list was introduced with only 22 jobs which were exempted from the current salary threshold. Now, make sure you have a quick look from the link which is provided in my video description and make yourself aware of it. Now, point number four, people on care visa and seasonal worker visa are being exploited and hence they will introduce strict laws to safeguard them. So how I see all these points related to immigration. It's going to be tough to get visa sponsorship job, no doubt about it. They may introduce new changes to skill visa or maybe add a cap to the skill visa like done in US or Australia. Now my agenda two is to look at the new employment rights bill for workers and migrants. Good news? Number one, no more zero hour contract. What it means? Workers won't have to deal with unpredictable schedules anymore. Employees must give contracts that reflect regular 
regular working hours. Let's take an example. Rhea, a retail worker, used to be on a zero hour contract. Now, her employer provides a fixed schedule. So she knows exactly when she will work each week. Number two, fair treatment for all. What it means? From day one, workers get essential rights like parental leaves, sick leave, and protection from unfair dismissal. Example, Raj, a new employer, gets sick pay right away when he catches the flu. His employer can't fire him unfairly without a valid reason. Number three, better sick pay. What it means? Workers will receive statutory sick pay without waiting for three days. Example, Seema, a waitress, injured her ankle at work. She now gets sick pay from day one, helping her cover bills during recovery. Number four, flexible working. What it means? Employees must consider flexible work arrangements from the start. Example, Raj, a single parent, requested flexible hours to pick up his kids from school. His employer agreed, allowing him to balance work and family life. Number five, product of new mothers. What it means? Employees can't dismiss a woman who recently had a baby for six months after her return to work, with some exceptions. Now, let's take an example. Seema, a new mom, returned to her job after maternity leave. Her employer can't fire her without a valid reason during this period. Number six, fair work agency. What it means? A new body will enforce workplace rights. Example, if Raj faces unfair treatment at work, he can report it to the fair work agency, which investigates and ensures shows justice. Number seven, fair pay agreement. What it means? The adult social care sector will establish national terms, conditions and fair pay rates. Example, caregivers like Rhea will benefit from standardized pay rates ensuring fairness across the industry. Number eight, trade union activity. What it means? Restrictions on trade union activity will be removed promoting negotiations and workers rights. So example, Rohit, a factory worker, can now join a union freely to advocate for better conditions and wages. These changes aim to create a fairer work environment for everyone regardless of their background or language. The bill represents progress towards better employment rights in the UK. So those are good and bad news from the UK. I hope you found this video useful and I'll keep you guys updated on the next steps taken by the UK government. If you guys got any question for me make sure to drop it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then keep learning.